Yo, Adam Saxon here with Guy in a Cube. And in this video, we're gonna look at conditional columns inside of Power Query. And how do I copy those conditional columns to another query that I have either in Power Query or Power BI? Stay tuned. If you're new here, be sure to hit that subscribe button to stay up to date on the latest from both Patrick and myself. This all came up from a customer question about the fact that they were using a conditional column in their query, but they wanted to know, how do I copy this to another query? Because I've got a similar query that's doing kind of the same thing, and I don't wanna have to retype all of these conditions. I just wanna copy it from one to another. So that's a great question, and for those of you not familiar with conditional columns, we'll take a look at that also. And how are we gonna do that? Gotta jump over to the computer, let's go. All right, let me lay out the situation here. I've got a sample table here, and just for example purposes, I'm just gonna drag category onto here. We're gonna make it a bar chart, and then I'm gonna just put count of category into value. And the problem we have here is that we can see that the categories aren't ordered properly. So I want them ordered by the number that's in there, not what we see here. And in this case, because of the category, because of the category name itself, I can't just go up here to the ellipse and say sort by category and expect it to work because it's gonna look weird, right? Because it doesn't line up properly. What I can do is I can actually have this ordered. I can add a column that has the number representation of each item. You may have examples of this in your data where the names of given categories need to be in a certain order, although they don't necessarily sort properly by default just because of how they're named. And so what we can do to get around this is we can create another column that has a number representation of each item and then sort on that column. So how do we do that? Conditional columns in Power Query are a great way to actually take care of that. So let's do that. Let's go over to our query. Go into edit queries. In here, I can come up to add column and I can say conditional column. And then what I can do is I can say, here, here's the category. If it equals, we'll say category one. So if it equals that text value, we're just gonna give it a value of one, right? And then I'll add some more columns here. This is like a cooking show, so let's jump ahead. All right, I've got all of my categories added here and we can see that I just have five for an example here, but you could see that if you had a bunch of different like labels or categories here, that if you wanted to copy this to another query, that could be a pain in the butt. So I don't wanna have to retype all of this. So let's go ahead and add this. We'll just finish off this item. We'll rename this to category order. And then we'll go ahead and load this into our model. And we can see this hasn't changed our order in our bar chart at all, but let's go back over to data. We'll select category order, go to modeling, and we'll do sort by column. Whoop, nope, we wanna select category, sort by column, and then category order. Now, magically, I'm gonna go back to the report, and boom, our order is right. It's, it's correct, it's the order that I want. And this is done by the magic of sort by column. All right, so that's the first part of the problem. Now the next part is that I've got another data set or another data table or in another entirely different Power BI desktop file that I'm doing the same thing. So for example purposes, let's go and pull in, I'll pull in that data set again. I'm just gonna load this in. All right, and we can see that we've got our second data set here and I've got category, but now I've got the same problem, right? It doesn't sort correctly. So what we can do is let's go back into edit query. We'll go to our first item. We can go to the advanced editor. I know it's a little scary, but this is what we're gonna do. It's okay. And we can go in now. One thing I like to do is when I've got my M syntax here, this is that's what this is, M syntax. I can go and pull that in. You notice I don't have any syntax highlighting or IntelliSense or anything like that. I have two options that I can do. Actually, there's more than two, but the two I'm gonna show you here is that you can use either VS Code or Visual Studio with the Power Query SDK. And you can go in, I'll just go into VS Code here. I've already got this into a PQ file. So if you have it in a PQ file, it will automatically pick this up and colorize it with syntax highlighting and whatnot inside of VS Code. There is a Power Query extension you have to go download and install. 
uh, but that's easy to do in VS Code. I can do the same thing in Visual Studio. If I have the Power Query SDK installed, I can get syntax highlighting as well. And I can see that I've got this added conditional column here uh, that's actually going through and it's got all of the category items that I've typed in and what those associated values are gonna be for. Uh, you can also see the next line here is that I renamed that column after the fact. So all I need to do here is just copy these two and I can go back into Power BI Desktop. We'll go ahead and cancel this. We'll go to our second data set, the one that we wanna copy it into. Go back into Advanced Editor. Paste. And we need to fix this up a little. I need to add a comma there. And then we need to take the name alias for the last one and paste that in for the final output. Hit done and boom, there's our category order. Easy. Go save and load that. And then we can come back into our second table and we'll do category, modeling, sort by column, category order, and that's it. And now we can portably take that conditional column that we spent time typing all those values into and just copy and paste them where we need to, maybe do a little touch-ups if needed, but it's as easy as that. All right, I'd love to know your feedback. Did, did this help you? Is this something that you're already familiar with or was this completely new to you? Go ahead and leave that down in the comments below and let me know. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, smash it if you so desire. If it's your first time here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button for more great content from both Patrick and myself. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Keep being awesome and we'll see you in the next video.